And hello again. Gonna take out my blackjack shellac. I um I'm taking it out and probably I got some control surface issues. Oh well. Fly it right through the sun. Of course, it's, uh, it's a little windy. But never stopped me before. This. Oh boy. The gusts are really picking up. Um. This was an inspiration from Ooh 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 and, uh, and uh, Ricky Bug, and probably a couple of others. Just to see if I could actually put one of these together and make it fly. Uh, not exactly. I mean, the SR71 was uh, relatively easy compared to one of these, because now you're dealing with. Four controls or or four four surfaces. Anyways, yeah, I have limited capabilities. I'm gonna have to change out the aileron servo. I have to uh, re-glue the, <laughs> the rudder. I have to do so many things. But I'll just uh, land and I'll use this battery something else. Look at that, that's full aileron. What is going on? Cheap little servos. But, um, oh well. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Something's binding. I don't know what. I have a feeling it's just a, I extended the, the servo for the aileron. I gotta have more kill than that. And then uh, the rudder. I'm just showing you all my defects. The rudder's working. I put a little, because I didn't have any tape or glue or anything. Put some stuff on there. How come it's not turning so good? There should be lots. Unless I'm. Let's move the CD back. Alright, I said I wasn't going to, but I'm gonna fly it again. And oh, of course, oh, my custom-made CD-ROM motor. You see that? I'm pretty proud of these things. They work great. And they're powerful. Okay, so once I get it in the air, it seems like that servo is so weak. Maybe I'll put a little metal gear servo in it because it it doesn't hardly move the ailerons. I mean I'm I'm suggesting a movement. I'm not actually moving it. And before it was quite snappy. Now it's not the wind. Even though the wind is quite brisk. But uh, uh another thing too. Yeah, Finn. This as a couple of us have mentioned, go three cell. The uh, these are the tattoo four or three cell four fifties. Um, they are incredible. And there you get to see my lethal rubber plane handling it. Handling a bashing. Oh, well, there you go. Um, yeah, so there's your little battery. And that's good for quite a bit of flying. Um, yeah, this isn't even moving now. What's going on Yeah. What's going on? I got one side that's barely even moving. 
Is it is it locked up? It's just a weak servo is what it is. This is just a dead servo. My speed control popped out of its little snow cover. Put these covers on it for the snow with ample area for it to, to vent. Well, they didn't totally kill it. Everything seems to be holding together. Yeah, you can see I need practice. And some control services that'll actually move. But that's my excuse for today. I'll just use that. Control surfaces. Yeah, that's it. Wow. <clears throat> Friend asked me why I don't use this lake for, uh, for uh, float flying. And I said, because it's got a ton of um, chemical preservatives in it. Of course, the ducks don't care, but um, also it's in a bowl. And uh, maybe not on a day like today, but any other time, it's absolutely horrendous to fly out of. Uh, you get down there and you get a downdraft or whatever, and it's splashdown time. All right. Let us retire this little baby for now. On to the next.